seriously, after two weeks, year, two weeks? Two years of waiting, three cancelled weddings and the loss of Rachel's dad, their bond has never been stronger. And they deserve all the love we can give them. Today is a day of love, but it is tinged with sadness. Not least because it should be led here during the speech. So before we toast Rachel and Luke, can we all be upstanding and raise our glasses to Len, who is here in spirit and in our hearts. To Len. I promise. To love, cherish and respect you. To love, cherish and respect you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I pledge to you. I pledge to you. Faithfulness and friendship. Faithfulness and friendship. In good times and bad. In good times and bad. From this day onwards. From this day onwards. I promise to work with you. To build our lives together. To build our lives together. May our love bring us closer. May our love bring us closer. To create a home. To create a home. Filled with peace, happiness and love filled with peace, happiness and love. After a global pandemic, four different wedding dates and a ton of stress, my wife and I... <laughs> but would like to welcome you all here to share this day with us. You look absolutely beautiful today and I'm sure everyone will agree. We've come a long way since I first met you. You were just a really annoying girl with pigtails <laughs> and them terrible jam jar glasses. <laughs> and I was just a really, really good looking lad with a mullet. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, me and Rach met in high school on the first day of year seven sat next to me in science and spent the whole hour of the lesson chewing my ear off about how her sister lived in Australia <laughs> and how much she loved this ridiculously shitty pen that Becca had bought her. <laughs> it wasn't until we were in college that I managed to claw my way out of the friend zone and it was probably the best thing that ever happened to me. I feel so lucky to have found someone like you, someone who makes every day different, someone that makes me laugh and someone that also thinks about what they're having for tea before they've even had their breakfast. <laughs> It's not been an easy road getting to this day with everything that's been going on in the world, but I can honestly say I don't think I've ever been happier than this moment right now. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build the future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years and with the slightest touch will comfort you like no other. Rachel, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and affection. As a symbol of my love and affection. And in recognition. And in recognition. Of our shared life together. Of our shared life together. Wear this ring. With a feeling of love and joy. With a feeling of love and joy. Okay. You're my best friend, my lobster, and I promise I'll always be there for you for everything that life throws at us. And I promise that if I'm ever buying a sausage roll, I'll always buy an extra one for you. <laughs> Or maybe four. <laughs> I love you so much and I can't wait to see what the future holds. So can everyone please join me in raising a glass to my beautiful wife. So I have to apologise, Gabe. 
uh, I actually wrote this speech back in 2019 for the, uh, for the original date and I've not checked it since so I'm just hoping that it's aged well and, and still makes some sense so here goes. But it only feels like yesterday since you proposed on that beach in Marbella and what a time you've chosen to get married with household bills and petrol prices being so low. This day just makes financial sense. And as an Everton fan, Gib, you must be thrilled. You've just signed Marco Silva, who's looking to bring in key summer signings like Rondon and Iwobi. Can you imagine how many goals they're going to score? We can definitely say you won't be near relegation anytime soon. Really nervous when I found out that uh, I'll be speaking last. Just for the fact that all the big nose jokes might have been gone. But Gib, you'll be happy to know I've had a word with photographer. No side profile shots. Front on only. And for those of you that don't know Gibbo, he was and still is a big fan of wrestling. Uh, growing up, his favourite wrestlers were The Rock, Triple H and John Cena. So we were all shocked when he decided to marry a girl. So, I lived together with both Danny and Gib for two years at uni. Second year in particular sticks in my memory when it was freezing, our heating broke. It was that cold when we were sat on the couch speaking to each other, you could see our breath. So with two heaters between the three of us, we had one option. We all moved and lived into the living room together and slept there overnight. So we did this for two whole weeks. Which sounds weird, but it's even weirder that the heating was fixed after one. But I do think there's something extremely romantic in the last five years Gibble's been free to have a drink with me is his wedding day. And I think there's something extremely romantic in how you both met. And I won't bore everyone with the details. It's a classic boy meets girl, girl likes girls. <laughs> girl has a friend. Boy likes friend of girl. Boy wears down friend of girl. Friend of girl likes boy. Story that we're all used to. A lot has happened over the past two years and to me it really highlights the importance of friends, family and who you choose to spend the rest of your life with. I'm sure everyone can agree that these two have chosen the perfect match. So one final thought, looking around the room it's clear to see Gib, so many people here that love and support you. So let's make tonight worth the two year wait and I'd like to raise the toast to Mr and Mrs Gibson.